I bring you special greetings today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless God for some of you that have been talking to us through email, through telephone calls, trying to let us know how richly you've been blessed by our messages. And we are excited to get this feedback from across the globe. Today we feel like doing a teaching today on what we consider a very important topic that will help us and help current believers, especially those who are conscious of the fact that they are pilgrims here and they want to make heaven. I really want us to dwell extensively on what I have called days of spiritual low percent. Days of spiritual low percent is a teaching and um, by the grace of God, we're going to begin to extract this message. It can be in part one, part two, part three, days of spiritual low percent. And it will be good that you listen attentively to this teaching and know what the Lord has to say to us. This end time anointing decade is indeed booming with the attendant prosperity emphasis. The power of God has been manifested and we bless God for it. However, one wonders why Christians, even those mightly used, still fall into sin and become a disgrace to what they profess. The practical reason is that many bask in the euphoria of the glory of God. And they fail to plan and be careful on the day of spiritual low percent. And in this case, when we talk about days of spiritual low percent, we mean a day when a Christian surprisingly sees himself feeling angry and depressed without a known cause. Sometimes ungodly desires springing up. Sometimes you may wake up and begin to see yourself feeling intensively sexy, an intensive natural urge. And let us not pretend about this. No Christian can maintain 24-hour high spiritual level throughout his Christian life. There are days of spiritual low percent. Let's bow our heads in prayers. Our Father, I give you the glory, I give you the praise. Open our eyes to understand and cause our listeners to be able to digest what you are saying concerning days of spiritual low percent. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so just like I have said, our teaching today will discuss the reality of days of spiritual low percent. They have work in the Christian life as a consequence of days of spiritual low percent and the carelessness on such days. And I want to say this clearly at the onset of this teaching. The devil has not lost hope concerning any person. No matter how old, no matter how anointed, no matter, the devil has not lost hope concerning you. And we shall also explain the signs and causes of spiritual low percent. We shall also look at David's experience in the days of spiritual low percent. We we'll also look at today's application to it. Many mighty men, both biblical and contemporary men, they failed as a result of wrong approach to opposite sex relationship. Our teaching today we delve into such relationships and summarize with solemn peace on things to avoid and what to do on the days of spiritual low percent. Someone listening to this my topic and he said, oh, I want to hear this, I want to hear about high percent and not low percent. Well, the person might be living in the moon. What we are talking about today is praxis, practical issues. It is better to be aware of the existence of such days and become careful than to refuse to know anything about it until you become a victim. We are still putting on flesh and the devil has not yet died. Now listen to me, my listener. You are putting on flesh, number one. Number two, the devil is not yet dead. I know many a time people use digger, use shovel and say we are digging the ground. We bury the devil. They will carat the devil. They will push the devil, do a lot of things. These are mere physical exercises. The devil is not dying right now. Both God and Satan will not fall.